If you decided to watch this video, you may or may not have a polarizing opinion on whether or not you or your child should go to college. Or there's a chance that maybe I convince you to watch this video and you really don't care. So for those of you who are watching just to make me happy, thanks. I just wanted to take a quick second and give you a disclaimer that I don't think college is all that bad. In fact, I went to college and got my degree in materials engineering and colleges are actually some of my best memories that I have in life. But after being about 13 years removed from college and never using the degree myself, I just figured it'd be a good idea to share some of those thoughts of what I've learned about college and what might help you as you're deciding on whether to go to college, where to go to college, or as you try to convince and help your child figure out what's best for them and their life plan. Now, as I just mentioned, the number one reason why you shouldn't go to college is most people don't end up using their degrees. Now, if you go online and Google search how many people use their degree after college, you're gonna get a varying amount of different kinds of responses. You're gonna get statistics that say, hey, around 60% of people get a job because they had a degree and maybe 40% or 30% got a job that uses their specific degree. Well, I've just found with meeting lots of people over the years and talking to a bunch of friends that it's pretty atypical that you go directly into your field, at least for a lot of my close friends. And for me specifically, I studied materials engineering with the full expectation that that's what my career was gonna be. And I graduated, I moved up to Portland, Oregon from San Luis Obispo, and I decided to help start a church and do music for them, as well as find an engineering job. Well, fast forward a little bit, and I didn't get a single interview at any engineering company or company that had engineering positions. And so I was forced to take a job as a waiter and a bartender at a California pizza kitchen. That wasn't exactly my idea of what I was gonna do after college. My wife is another example of someone who went to college, she got a degree in social sciences with the expectation that she would either become a teacher or potentially a social worker. And she said that within the first year of being out of college, she realized that neither of those career paths were where she wanted to go and found out that the social sciences degree wasn't very marketable outside of those fields. So what was she gonna do? She just had to figure things out and be creative. Let's move into the second point, which is at 18 years old, not many people really have a good idea of what they wanna do with the rest of their lives. Now, as an 18 year old, you're kind of invincible and you feel like you have everything figured out already. I mean, in the US, you're already an adult, right? So you must have everything figured out. Well, what I found is that that was completely stupid and wrong. I had some ideas of what I wanted with my life and I had family members and family friends who had been encouraging me for years that engineering was a good field for me because I was good at math and science and school seemed to come easy. But as I went through my degree and as I even got an internship uh, at a nuclear power plant, I kind of realized that not only was engineering not necessarily the best suit or fit for me, but the cubicle life absolutely terrified me. And I wasn't sure that I, I wanted to make that my career path, but I went into the degree because I felt like I had the brains for it, I had the math and science down, but also because it was one of the higher paying things directly out of a four year college. And I honestly was kind of all about the money. I wanted to make a career path that was gonna provide a lot of money, so I didn't have to worry about that. Now, one of the things I recognized after being out of college for a while is money is not a great pursuit. If that is your sole goal of your career path, is to make a lot of money or to feel financial freedom, it's not a great idea if that's gonna just make your life miserable or it's not gonna help you to achieve your other goals in life. So for me, if I'd potentially had a few years after high school to kind of test out the water, see what I liked and what I didn't like, I probably wouldn't have gone into an engineering program. And if I did, I probably wouldn't have gone into a different program than I did and potentially set myself up differently. But let's not start the whole butterfly effect and impact the rest of the world. Let's move on to the next point, which is number three, debt. You don't want it, and most college graduates have it. In a 2017 study, they said that somewhere around $37,000 is the average student debt for kids graduating college. 
I was very blessed and my parents did help me a lot in college. So I didn't have to work during college. I only worked really hard during the summers. And then after I graduated, I didn't have a ton of debt, but it was still probably somewhere around $12,000. And between my wife and I, it took us close to a decade to pay off of our debt. That's not something that you want to really have to deal with. As you get older, you'll recognize that having debt looming over you is not a good feeling and it can take a long time to get past it. And that can really stifle some of your own endeavors or things that you want to invest in or even your growth in your personal career. So if you can go to a free two-year community college program that they have in your area, or just take a year or two to do some self-learning and figure out what you want before college, you can recognize whether it makes sense to go to an Ivy League school or go to a state school or where to invest your money so that you don't come out of college with a lot of debt or skip it all together and skip that debt altogether. That's a lot of altogether. Number four, you're an entrepreneur at heart. Now, whether you're like me and you've always started little businesses, whether it be a lemonade stand, a grass cutting company, a stationary making company, yeah, I made stationary for I think two neighbors. Okay, it wasn't a big business, but the idea is as an entrepreneur, there are so many opportunities. And right now, as we speak in 2020, we live in a generation, in a time where you can create whatever kind of business you really want. And a lot of them don't really need a education background. You don't need to have even a high school degree, but I think you should, or a college degree. So when I think of my entrepreneurial pursuits, for the last decade, I've been doing my own business. And for the past seven or eight years, I've been completely on my own, not working for another company, but doing my own business. Before I started college, if I knew that what I wanted to do was more be in the creative fields and create videos or do photography or something like that, and some of the technologies were available at that point, I think I'd be way further ahead in my business than I am now. Now, don't take me wrong. I am very grateful for what I have and for what I've been blessed with and where my business is and where my life is. But as an entrepreneur, it may not make sense for you to go to college depending on what field you want to end up in. Going to college and getting into debt and getting a big degree for something that's not directly going to help your career may not be worthwhile when you can go spend more time and money self-learning, finding the things that you do want to learn and help build your career the way that you want to. All right, and our last point is point number five, which is don't live your parents' dream. Okay, as a parent myself, I have two little daughters who are far away from college, but still are on that path someday. I recognize you want to really help those kids live up to their fullest potentials. So for you parents out there, like I get it. You want to serve them. You want to help them. You want to let them really achieve their biggest dreams and goals. But sometimes you need to recognize that it may not be their dreams, but your dreams. And for those of you who are the students who have to decide on whether to go to college, your parents may have always wanted to see you go to USC or Notre Dame or an Ivy League school. Just know that ultimately you're going to be living the next 50, 70, 80 years if you're blessed after college. So you should really choose whether it's the right fit for you or whether you want to go to college at all. Investing that much time and money and effort into something that's not going to serve you later in life is not really a good idea. So make sure that it's not just your parents that you're trying to appease, but that you're trying to make sure that it's gonna be a good fit for you too. Okay, so what does this all mean? Does this mean that I think that you for sure shouldn't go to college? Absolutely not. I think that college is an incredible opportunity and has a lot of amazing things to it that I think are worthwhile, but I do think that it's worthwhile to help students, help those in junior, senior year of high school, really navigate what's the best fit for them and not just feel like you have to go to college because if it's not gonna suit you well, it's not gonna build you up ready for life. It's just gonna kind of frustrate you and make you a little more anxious as to what you're gonna do. My recommendation is to really look at both sides of the coin. And in fact, 
Next week, we're gonna take a look at the other side of the coin, which is five reasons that you should go to college. So make sure you stick around for that video and see some other reasons why I do find benefit in college and investing in that way. Thanks for watching, guys.